Alright, dividing polynomials by long division. It's kind of a tricky process, but if you remember long division, it's, it's not too bad. So let's start with this guy right here. 3,248 divided by 24. 3,248 divided by 24. So the first thing you want to do is look and see how many times is 24 going to go into 32 in one time. And then you do 1 times 24. And then this is a big step right here. You subtract them, you minus them. So 32 minus 24 is going to be 8. And then bring down the 4. And then you ask yourself, how many times is 24 going to go into 84? I think 3 times. 3 times 24 is 72. All right. Now 84 subtract 72 is going to be 12 bring down your 8 and then 24 is going to go into 128 5 times so 5 times 24 is 10 120 and then you subtract them so 128 minus 120 and you're left with 8 so it doesn't divide evenly but it gives you a remainder your answer is going to be 135 and 8 over 24 or even better 135 and whoops not a 824 if you simplify that you're gonna get one-third so a lot of the same concepts are used but now we're gonna do it with the polynomial so I'm gonna skip this whole page and I'm gonna start right here x squared minus 10x minus 24 divided by x plus 2. If we write that out, x squared minus 10x minus 24 divided by x plus 2. Okay, you're going to focus only on this term right here, x. It's a binomial, x plus 2, but we're going to only key in on the x. And you're going to ask yourself, how many times is x going to go into the first term of this polynomial, which is x squared, so x times what is going to give you x squared? And the answer is x. Okay, now you need to times your divisor here by x. And there's two terms, so you got to divide them both. If I do x times x, you're going to get x squared. And then x times 2, put a plus here, is 2x. Now this is a big step. You need to subtract them. So because there are two terms here, I need to subtract both of them. So I'm just going to distribute that. I'm going to subtract that, and I'm going to subtract that. So if you think of it, just always change the signs, and you'll never mess up. So now x squared minus x squared, that cancels out. That's a 0. But a negative 10x and a negative 2x is a negative 12x. Now bring down your minus 24, and then uh, focus on this x again right here. x times what is a negative 12x? How many times is x going to go into negative 12x? And the answer is a negative 12. Okay, now take that negative 12 times each of these terms by a negative 12. So a negative 12 times 2 is a negative 24. And a negative 12 times x is a negative 12x. But now you have to subtract. And they're already negative, so you're going to subtract. If you just change the signs, distribute this negative to both of these. And they're already negative, so I'm going to make them positives. So negative 12x, positive 12x, that's 0. Negative 24, positive 24, that's also 0. So my remainder is 0. So it divided evenly. So that is my answer right there. x minus 12. So that was an easy one. Let's do a medium one. Um, write this out. x cubed plus 13x squared minus 12x minus 8. Divide that by x plus 2. Here we go. So focus on your x. How many times is x going to go into x cubed? And the answer is x squared times both of these by x squared. x squared times 2 is going to be 2x squared. And x squared times x is going to be x cubed. Okay, now 
change the sign on both these. They're both positive, so I'm changing them to negatives. This cancels out. That's a 0. 13x squared minus 2x squared is going to be uh, 11x squared. Bring down my negative 12x. And um, let's ask yourself how many times is x going to go into, a ne into an 11x squared? And the answer is 11x times. So 11x times 2 is going to be 22x. And 11x times x is going to be 11x squared. Okay, now change the signs on both of these. So subtract them. They're both positive, so I'm going to make them both negatives. 11x squared minus 11x squared, that's 0. Negative 12x, negative 22x is going to be a negative 34x. Bring down the minus 8. And then ask yourself, how many times is x going to go into negative 34? So x times what is a negative 34x? And the answer is negative 34. So negative 34 times 2 is going to be negative 68. And a negative 34 times x is going to be a negative 34x. Now, change the signs on both of them. That's going to change to a plus. They both are. Your x's cancel. A negative 8 plus 68 is uh, 60, positive 60. And that's your remainder. That's what you got left over. So your answer is going to be x squared plus 11x plus negative 34 plus your remainder, which is 60 over x plus 2. All right. So it's getting a little more more and more fun. Okay, this one right here. Let's look at this guy. Times parentheses b plus 1 to the negative 1. Well, the trick to that is this. 8 times 4 to the negative 1. If you are multiplying something by another factor of negative 1, if your exponent is going to be negative 1, what you're really doing is there's a property that says you cannot have negative exponents. So if you come across a negative exponent, this is a fraction, you're going to take this and you're going to put it in the denominator. And if it's on bottom, you move it to the top. So 8 times 4 to the negative 1 is really the same thing as 8 divided by 4, which is just 2. So timesing by something to the negative 1 is the exact same thing as saying dividing. So if I write this this is a division. It's going to be divided by b plus 1. So now let's write it out. 2b cubed plus b squared minus 2b plus 3. If I divide that by b plus 1. All right. We're going to look at the b. Let's ignore that plus 1. Let's just look at the b. b times what is 2b cubed? And if I times b by 2b squared... That's going to give me my 2b cubed. So let's times both of these terms, the b and the 1. So 2b squared times 1 is 2b squared, and 2b squared times b is 2b cubed. Now you got to minus them, so they're both plus. So just change the signs and make them both negative. 2b cubed minus 2b cubed, that's 0. b squared minus 2b squared is minus b squared. And then bring down my next term, this right here, which is a negative 2b. All right, now b times what is a negative b squared? And that's just a negative b. Negative b times 1 is a negative b. And a negative b times b is a negative b squared. Now, don't forget to change the signs. They're both negative, so I'm going to change them both to positives. Your b squared is cancel. Negative 2b plus b is negative b plus 3. And what can I times b by to get a negative b? And the answer is just a negative 1. So negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1. Negative 1 times b is negative b. 
change the signs on both of them that's going to be plus that's going to be plus so I end up with 4 is a remainder. So your answer is going to be 2b squared minus b minus 1 plus your remainder over your divisor. And that is your answer. Okay, one more. Let's do this one. This one ends up being probably the hardest of all of them. So x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus x squared minus 5 divided by x plus 2. Okay, what might make this hard is look at the sequence of your exponents. 4, 3, 2, I'm missing uh, x to the 1. So these other ones, they kind of went in order. 3, 2, 1, and this other one here was 3, 2, 1. So this one is missing. I don't know if that made sense, but this guy right here is missing the x to the 1. So it might make things a little complicated. Let's see. Same process. What can you times x by to get x to the 4th? x cubed. So times the 2 by x cubed, and you're going to get 2x cubed times the x by x cubed and you're going to get x to the fourth now you got to subtract them change both the signs your x to the fourth zero out negative 3x cubed minus 2x cubed is going to be a negative 5x cubed bring down your x squared and now what kind of times x by to get a negative 5x cubed and the answer is a negative 5x squared. So negative 5x squared times 2 is negative 10x squared. And negative 5x squared times x is negative 5x cubed. Now change the signs. Make that positive, that positive. And these zero out. So I got x squared plus 10x squared. So I got 11x squared. And let's bring down, here's what's missing. I go from an x squared just to a constant, just to a 5. So for fun, I'm going to bring down that minus 5 and see what happens. Okay, now, x times what is 11x squared? x times 11x. So 11x times 2 is 22x. And 11x times x is 11x squared. Now I gotta change the signs, I gotta minus them. My x squareds are gone, but now, this is where it gets tricky. I have a minus 5 on top, and I've got a minus 22x on bottom. They're not like terms, I cannot add them up. So I just really have this. I've just got uh, minus 22x minus 5. So I can't add them up. Now, I'm going to ask myself, what can I times x by to get a minus 22x? And the answer is a minus 22. So if I do a minus 22 times 2, that's going to be a negative 44. And a minus 22 times x is going to be a minus 22x. Now cancel, change your signs, that's a plus, that's a plus, your x's are gone. A minus 5 and plus 44 is going to be 39. So your remainder is 39. So here's my answer, plus the remainder, 39 over x plus 2.